Good morning, people. That was awesome. I got to stay in uh, in the Broken Fiddle Hostel because there's a really nice person, trail named Doctor Who, and uh, now I'm going into town. Send off some postcards. I don't know if you've seen these, but this one is very cool. I'll stop moving. Cherish your wilderness. It just looks really neat. And the other one. This one's also very cool with a little quote. So, off to the post office for those. And uh, they have two rivers hey. <laughs> running through town. And uh, just saw Jack Rabbit, who's also staying at the hostel across the street. Um, but I just want to show you guys a small the town of Damascus. This is the main road. And, um, yeah, it's just a nice small town like the other ones that I've gone through. And, like, really, I mean, this is the hiker town, Damascus, like, the, for the entire trail. It's, this is like the... Hiker Town. They have three, three outdoor shops in like a one mile stretch. So very, very hiker friendly. Hey, hello. Hello. That old tire swing. That's cool. On the back street. Alright, we're back at the Broken Fiddle. Neat sign. Broken Fiddle Hostel. You don't go into the door. You go through the fence with the awesome mural painted on it. You can see here, we were supposed to cross the street, go to the Appalachian Trail up there. But that's going to go up the mountain and back down to this road. So instead, we're taking this, which is the Virginia Creeper Trail. And um, it's going to, there's a river in there. And so this is going to follow that river. And it just stays nice and level. That's why it's the, there's, some, there's a plant called Virginia Creeper. It's probably somewhere. But also, the trail has like almost, like it's like almost zero grade, so it's a uh, very, very uh, flat walking. It should be like the only time we get to do that. <laughs> so we're going, uh, we're taking the Virginia Creeper Trail uh, around whatever hills the AT wants to go up and down, and we'll catch it on the other side. Creeper Trail Bridge. One more. Yeah, there's a happy bike trail, this one. Hey, doing good. Really nice bridges. Look at that. Hey, oh, what up, everybody? We got, we got another Hawk Talk coming at ya. <laughs> Indy's giving me a look like you're, you're a piece of work over there. And she is correct. <laughs> but let's see, this is a short one. It's just a nice, it's like a couple of key phrases that came into my head. It's something that I catch myself doing sometimes. And uh, in this moment, well, I'll, show, I'll give you the example at the end. And uh, to remind myself, it's about my hair. So, I had, uh, so what's the phrases now? If I have to remember. So, if you make decisions in life based on what you think other people's perceptions of you 
or those actions would be, then you'll never feel satisfied with yourself, you'll never feel good with yourself. But you have to make decisions for yourself. So what's the expression? It was, if you, oh, to feel good about yourself, make decisions for yourself. And, um, and the thought that brought this all together was, I was thinking about my hair, and I was like, um, I don't know, I just had the thought of cutting it. And I was like, why would I cut it? Um, and the only reason I have is because I'm thinking about how people perceive me with long hair. And I think I prefer how people perceive me, what I think anyway, because I don't, I don't know how people perceive me, it's only what I think. Um, so I think people will perceive me better with short hair than with long hair. So I had that thought, which led to the little tidbit I shared with you now. This house is just on the creeper trail. That's so cool. It's a really big house. It has a no, my whole lot of no press, trespassing signs. So I don't want to go any closer. But I'll show you what it looks like. I don't know, how well can we see it through the trees? You're not supposed to see it that well because they deserve privacy. <laughs> but there you go, that's neat. I just think this sign's really cute. The little cabin on the trail. This is on the creeper trail, not the AT. We're still, we're doing like, I don't know, I have to look at it up, look it up again, but it's something around 10 miles, I think, on the creeper trail before we reconnect with the AT. So, still enjoying the lovely river beside us and the very slight incline. All right, really, really lazy day today. We've only walked about nine miles, uh, but we found a really nice camp location. Um, so we decided, screw it. Let's enjoy a nice camp location. We're gonna go for a little swim. It's like 4.15, set up our tents real quick. And then we're gonna hop into the water. We're gonna keep our eyes open. You can find copperheads in, in these creeks sometimes that like to swim in the water. So you gotta keep your head on. But um, I don't know, we haven't seen anything yet. So keep our eyes open. Um, but before the sun gets too low, before it gets too cold, we're gonna take a nice dip. After a nice swim, nothing like a nice fire. We don't have any marshmallows today, but this is, uh, how long have we been working on this one? A half hour? Yeah. 45 minutes. May 45 minutes. Get this thing to the bigger logs. Pretty nice. Check it out. Boiling water on the fire for the first time on the AT. And we have <laughs> boiling water. Time for tea. Good night, everyone. Good night, little guy. <laughs>